The opinions expressed on the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station, its staff, management, or sponsors. Welcome to the Mick Bazuli Show. Brought to you by Insurance Doctors and RP Summit. Putting money in business pockets for 20 years. Visit rpsummit.com. Now, here's Mick. <laughs> 904 on a Monday here in beautiful, chilly South Florida. I'm the mix. The Mick Bizzoli will take you up to about 930. It's cold out there. You know, here we are, January 31st. They got blasted up north with snow and everything else. And it's just been a crazy time, especially here in Florida. We have our four days of winter, and it should go. We had great games yesterday, which we'll cover later. We have some great sponsors on the show, of course, RP Summit. And, of course, the H, the new one, H Salon, Gail Hansen, a beauty salon. She cuts half all the movie stars. And now this, she's got some great ideas, which we're going to talk about on the show later on in the last segment when we talk about Valentine's Day and the St. Valentine's Day massacre as it was in my house. But right now we're going to talk about everybody knows what's going on in the home market. Here in Florida, Tennessee, Texas, California, we have a California company. And this company is flourishing. Uh, their symbol is I-L-A-L. They're on the QB, International Land Alliance, Inc. They're a tremendous company. What they do is they're real estate developers. They come in and they take a large parcel of land, put the roads in, the amenities, divide it up in lots, and, and basically either market it to the public or they market it to other builders, home builders, or they build it out themselves. A very interesting concept. They have multiple projects going on right now in Northern California and in Mexico. And with the baby boomers retiring in record numbers, they're leaving the cities in droves because there's no need for them to be there. And they're living more of a suburban lifestyle with a brand new home. They liquidate their businesses, they take their pensions, their IRAs, and off they go. And that's what's happening, and that's what's trending in California. And we're going to bring on uh, Frank and Grandy from IL International, their symbol again, I-L-A-L, International Land Alliance, to tell us what's going on with his projects over in uh, Southern California. Frank, are you there? Yes. Hi, Mick. How are you? Good, good. Welcome to the show. I mean, you know, here in, in South Florida, we got people, land is, is just gone through the roof, and I know it has in your area too. And being a former real estate developer, which I was for 20-some-odd years here in Florida, you must have caught the markets really right over there because it seems there's a lack of inventory. There is a lack of inventory, uh, especially here in Southern California. We've been experiencing that uh, since the – you know, the market crash in 2008. I've been involved in northern Baja, California, which is just south of us. You know, we could be in Mexico. Uh, when I say northern Baja, California, sometimes people think I'm talking about California if they're not from uh, the southwest here. But it's, uh, it's foreign. It's Mexico, but it's not foreign to us. Uh, uh, growing up in San Diego, uh, we just buzz across the border like someone from uh, just north of the uh, the Florida Panhandle in Georgia comes down to Panama City. We buzz down to the beaches in Mexico like it's nothing. They don't yeah. even plan for it. So uh, that and, and the market is uh, here in San Diego since 2008 has been uh, um, thin. I mean, there hasn't been inventory. And now I don't know. There's a lot of uh, forces on the market here uh, over the last uh, year that's even uh, uh, made that uh, 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 real estate availability, availability a little tighter, and it is flowing over to us. And I mentioned I've been involved in Northern Baja, California, real mm -hmm. estate since 2001, and uh, we've seen uh, the markets going up and down. I've never seen it uh, uh, so good for the real estate market there uh, during that time period as it is right now. You know, I speak to a lot of people that are in the real estate business naturally, you know, having a business show. And what they tell me is that when they get a listing, they might have somebody might list a house here in South Florida for five hundred thousand dollars, and the next thing you know, they got six offers and they're they're actually selling 
40, 50, 60,000 more than the listing price because of the demand. And, I, and I've and i read that the same thing's happening, especially in San Diego, which is a hot spot right now. It is. Uh, just about everything that comes on to the market uh, uh, goes into escrow. If you look, uh, if you look at the MLS, you know, you might you don't see that many listings uh, at all, but the majority of them are in in uh, are pending. They're in escrow. Right. As soon as they put the listing out, there's a sale pending. Same thing's happening down here, basically all over. And they attribute it to a lot of different things. The the one thing that we have, and but and San Diego's like that too. The baby boomers, they're retiring. They're getting out of the cities. They're going toward the suburbs, especially in San Diego. You, I don't know if a lot of people in our audience have ever been out there. It is absolutely gorgeous, that area. I mean, it is beautiful. The San Diego area, uh, California as a whole is a gorgeous state. But the, San Diego, the city, everything's so clean. And even when you get outside the city, like you're developing projects outside the city, which we're going to talk about the difference, what a developer does. But first, I want to say, when did you found this company? It seems to be a very interesting company. Uh, ILA was founded in 2013 mm -hmm. by Jason Sunstein and Roberto Valdez. And you, you uh, listing is on the QB, is that right, or QX? Right, 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 right. QB. ILAL. Right. And we, explain what a developer is basically. Uh, unlike a building, how you you obtain property and then what you what you have to do to develop it into lots and things of that nature. Let our audience know what a developer really does. Right, right. Well, the first thing is a uh, uh, property selection. So we're out looking uh, in uh, different areas, and uh, we've always, um, for me, when we when we, when I've selected property, I've recently brought on with ILA. And they acquired 25% of our development, which is right by one of theirs. So when I talk, I might be speaking to, uh, through a, a long, more of a history of uh, sales and marketing and, and uh, development. It's always been from the consumer's perspective, not what we think they would like. We do a lot of marketing research to see, hey, what are, is our market looking for? And they're looking for, you know, all of our projects are drive to from the United States, mm -hmm. uh, drive to close pretty close proximity from um, uh, a, a major city. And it, we're, we've got views in uh, proximity to the uh, uh, natural gods, amenities, uh, water views, and uh, mountain views. And uh, uh, that's the first thing that we, it's, it's location and property selection, whether it's got a nice topography for a community. Right. And uh, view corridors, and the way we, we then we go into uh, the, the pricing's got to be right, so we have to acquire the property at a at a rate to where we could pass on a nice uh, a value to our our, our eventual clients. And um, we, the way we lay it out, and usually with with views in mind, because we're 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 second home retirement communities, uh, some getaway, some vacation, but primary someone's going to be using this for uh, relaxation and mm -hmm. uh, to really just uh, unwind and uh, enjoy life there. Now, when you chop up property, you basically subdivide it, you put the roads in, the water, sewer, the electric, all the, all the utilities, and then you have the commercial pieces up front, which you also could go ahead and do commercial development. Am I correct in that assumption? Right, right, right. And the, the, the density, you know, we, we come into places sometimes that don't uh, – uh, have any commercial or even residential too close to them. So we're, we're, we're literally blazing a trail there. And um, so uh, what happens is uh, we have uh, certain sections of the development laid out for the commercial. When the density comes in, mm -hmm. we bring that in. Right. And then you have the out parcels for banks, uh, all the support, fast food, uh, basically the, you're going to need grocery stores, so when you take a project, you're basically doing a whole, I guess you could say a whole community development project. And how big are some of your parcels? I know you've got them up to 100 acres. I've seen some 20, 30 acres. How, how big are most of your projects? You've got about a half well, a dozen of, or a dozen on your website. 
Uh, the uh, Rancho Costa Verde uh, right now we just got another error in process of closing, so we are we are going to be right about twelve uh, twelve hundred acres there, and um, so that's it's it's and, and our density is really low. When you asked about laying it out, we're about one one a home site per acre, mm-hmm. so we're right at about twelve hundred uh, home sites there too. Oasis Park is just south of uh, Rancho Costa Verde, just a few miles south. That's 500 acres. And then mm-hmm. on the other, that's on the east side of Baja. So um, we're just south of the town, little fishing town of San Felipe. Mm-hmm. Beautiful water, Sea of Cortez views. And we're, we've got a mountain range right behind us. Very beautiful also. Uh, sunsets over the mountains. So it's desert on the beach. So it's kind of like Palm Springs on the water. And then on the other side, they're smaller parcels, a little bit more of a um, mature real estate market on uh, the, the uh, west side of Baja California, just south of San Diego, so Rosarita Beach area, Ensenada. Uh, those are smaller uh, areas, smaller parcels. Uh, we do our vertical construction there. We're building uh, several villas with that look across the golf course at the water, just about a stone's throw from the Pacific Ocean, and then we have our our um, wine country themed uh, winery vineyard uh, project right across the street. Still a hop, skip, and a jump to the, the water and all the restaurants down and uh, a commercial existing commercial uh, um, services that are there existing. Right. Uh, and uh, those are just smaller, more quaint uh, um, developments, just uh, a few acres and uh, 20, 30, 40 acres, and then another one is just a, a couple acres, the ones right. that have the villas on them. You cater to some of these places, when you say mature, here we have communities, you have to be 55 years or older to go ahead and move in. You got a lot of reti- young retirees, you know, that uh, here in Florida, I know that it's prevalent, but do you do the same thing out there in California, I'd imagine? In California, yes, uh, they do have the 55-plus communities. For us, yes, even though we're, we're retirement second home, uh, we've got a wide range of uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, ages that, that become involved in real estate that find us. I mean, we have uh, people in their 20s, 30s that become owners, and they just might, have a, they might buy a home site with a beautiful view. Some of them build right away, and others uh, just have it looking forward towards the future. Uh, we build a custom home for them. How long do you, what do you think uh, the new year, we're, we're you know, we're, we're still basically a new year. How does the new year look for your projections for your company? I'm sure the shareholders would like to know that. They look fantastic. You know, we have more history with our, our Rancho Costa Verde development, and we <clears throat> we basically had to cool it on sales during uh, the COVID pandemic. All of right. our presentations and everything were grouped. So we, we, we and then when last year when we decided well we're gonna put our toe in the water and start sales again, things are getting back to normal, we got a rush of yeah. people. So when the, you ask how's it gonna be this year, already it's it's going to be you know, we might have had our, our record years in uh uh two thousand sixteen, seventeen and we're seeing projections of the demand higher than it's ever been. Yeah, so especially now uh, um, interest rates are so low. And they're going to remain low. The Fed is going to probably raise it a, a quarter a point, which is That's really n- not happens. that bad, you know, uh, to basically curve inflation. But, you know, it's funny. I was I was talking to an associate of mine. I said, by the time they buy a piece of property, by the time they turn a pebble, it'll take a year. And that year, the property probably doubled. I, you know, the way things are going right now with the availability and the People coming, so whatever you have in inventory, I'm sure if you reappraised it. In fact, I'd guarantee it if you reappraised it, it probably jumped anywhere from thirty to fifty percent of value. Well, you're 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 right there, as a matter of fact. And with our our development on top of it, we've created our own inflation for our developer parcels a little bit, so they're a little more expensive. But uh, as we develop. Uh, and bring in, we, we, we create uh, communities and residents are there. We've got 100 homes or so there now mm-hmm. where there was nothing. Uh, and we have clubhouses and amenities all in. Uh, we 
you know, it just follows the natural real estate um, uh, inflation curve also. And, and just with the demand we're seeing, uh, we've got a, a, a lineup out the, out the door for our prime uh, beachfront properties. Now, right your, now, your website, people can look at it, and it's, you know, you got quite a, quite a few communities on there. If people want to go to your website, it's uh, www.ila.company. That's the, the right, right website, ila.company. If you're looking to get into a new home or a second home, or you want to sell your home in the city, maybe you're retiring, that's basically take a look at the product, I'd say. You know, it looks pretty good, Frank. It looks, And I'll tell you, the real estate outlook here in Florida – in, in California and Texas, it seems, and Tennessee, that seems to be the real hot areas in the United States right now. Yes, we, we I do notice that. Uh, I, I watch real estate uh, throughout uh, uh, different markets just constantly. And uh, especially, you know, we're seeing a lot of people from California head out to Tennessee and Florida right now. Yeah. Texas also. So, and they're they're heading across the border down into Mexico too. So mm-hmm. I, I don't know really who's coming into California, but the uh, the market's thin here too. But as as they they come in here, some people are leaving to go elsewhere, and uh, it creates uh, those those markets um, uh, like where we are in Northern Baja California. Some people commute back up to San Diego. That's true. People will take the ride. They love to live in the suburbs. We found that out too. Frank, we're going to bring you back on the show in a couple of weeks, and we're going to go over some other things. But I got to tell you, the promise it does look promising. You're right. You're in the right industry, that's for sure. Okay, and if, like I said earlier, ILA dot company. Uh, we're, we'll have this show on YouTube in its entirety uh, once we're done with the broadcast. But Frank, I want to thank you for coming on the show again. The symbol is I L A L. And uh, wish you well. We'll we'll talk to you in a couple of weeks. Bring you back on the show. We'll talk about the new developments. How's that? All right. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. Thank you, Frank. Frank and Grandy from, of course, International Land Alliance out in California. Quite a company. We're going to go to break, come back, and wrap it up. I'm the Mixer. You're here on uh, the Beasley Broadcasting Network. Freddie Santori on the boards over here producing the show. Got the cameras going. Everything's happening here. We'll be back right after this. Attention, doctors, car lots. I don't care what type of business you're in. Let's face it, you all need traffic. And nobody drives traffic. And I'm talking about traffic that brings you dollars. Then RP Summit and RPSummit.com. Yep. They're here now in South Florida. They've taken over the tri-state area, New York, New Jersey, Philadelphia. Everybody knows who RP Summit is because RP Summit drives you traffic. Let's face it. If you give me a dollar on a Monday and I give you back four dollars on a Wednesday, the only thing you should be thinking about is giving me more dollars. Well, that's what RP Summit does. They are the best in the business at driving real traffic to your website or to your business. Because let's face it, it's all about getting bodies, getting people to find you. What good is having a website if nobody knows where you are? Let's face it. I mean, what are they just going to pull it out of the air? Of course not. Well, RP Summit's been driving people to businesses now for over 20 years and successful. And the fact is, once you hire them, you're never going to fire them. I suggest you look at rpsummit.com or give them a call for a free consultation at 856-424-7222. That's rpsummit.com. They will drive traffic like you've never seen before. And believe me, once you get them, you'll never get rid of them. You'll say, why didn't I do this before? It's simple. You didn't know about them, but now you do, so there's no excuse. Pick up a phone, 856-424-7222. rpsummit.com, the best in the business. Nine twenty-four, back on the show. Nick Mazzulli. I tell you, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up on us, and you know, 
you got the old ball and chain at home. Maybe you're on the, you're on the outs with her or something like that. Instead of giving her a Whitman sampler, I mean, you know, Whitman say you go to Spring for like six ninety nine and give her something out of a, like a Walgreens. Yeah, honey, happy Valentine's Day. And then you wonder why she's so miserable. It's because she lives with a cheapskate like you. And the best thing you could possibly do for somebody is, you know, give them a makeover. You know, you got the 90, you got walking around, your wife's walking around like a yearbook picture from 1971 with the same hair, the same everything. She's walking around like uh, like Frankenstein's daughter. I mean, t- take a look. You ever see those old yearbook pictures? I know girls that have the same hair from 1975. All right. The age salon here in Fort Lauderdale. Now they've been they've been cutting hair. Gail's been cutting hair since 1985. She's done movie stars. She's done she goes to Hollywood sets constantly. You know, she puts them on and it's right on Northeast 33rd Street. You know where Fishtails is and Blue Jean Blues and Candace with the wine bar. Everybody knows that. Round the corner from Steve Mortarano's place. The North Beach Shops. Nice place. So if you want to get you on the good side of your wife, maybe you drink too much, maybe you gamble, all the things women love to hear about, get her a makeover, okay, at, at the 8th Salon. It's at 3313 Northeast 33rd Street in the North Beach shops. And, and I'll tell you the truth, it, it, really, it really can make a difference. Nothing better. And, it, and you know, you wanted, to, you wanted to feel good. Now, they do everything. Color, cut, they do nails, they, you know, they got it all. And you can get them easily enough. Gift certificate, brand new look for your wife, makes her happy. You're happy because she's happy and she's not breaking your chops. So you can go to the track and bet your brains out. 954-491-4871. Write it down. 954-491-4871. Now you can tell them to mix the scent you. And she might give you something for it. Maybe a little discount. Who knows? But it is a great gift to give somebody, especially with Valentine's Day. I say, oh, two weeks away. I mean, you come home and, and with a Whitman sampler and you say, honey, look what I bought you. I mean, the Whitman sampler, you know, that kills me. That Whitman sampler has been around since I guess as long as I have. And, and uh, it really, you don't score points. Or you can get gas station flowers. Nothing like giving somebody gas, you know, wrapped in a little plastic. All right? Come on, guys. Spring. Okay, Gail will set you up. She's been around forever, since 1985. Nobody goes to a beauty salon and says, give me a Larry Fine. Or, or, you know, or or, or come out looking like Art Garfunkel. You know, with your hair up in the air. Okay, make her look great. She'll feel great. She'll be happy. She won't bust your chops. Again, 954-491-4871. Get her a gift certificate. Well, this wraps it up for this this show anyway. I want to thank Freddie Centauri and all the great ones. Freddie, fix it. You'll catch him on the Brooklyn Cafe every day. What, at noon? Noon time you're on? Beautiful show. I mean, you'll have a lot of laughs, and you might even learn something. All right. So with that said, we're gonna we're gonna go off. But I gotta say one thing: who the bookies got rich yesterday? Cincinnati and the Rams. Neither team covered. Okay, so uh, uh, I mean Kansas City didn't cover the seven points, and the and the Rams didn't cover the three and a half. You got in, and both games were on the under. Perfect day. Bookies got got rich yesterday, but I had both ends. <laughs> I had both ends. I'm the mix, the Mick Pizzoli. We'll be back next week with eBets. Uh, eBet will be back on the show. E-B-E-T is their symbol. I want to say thanks to Freddie producing it, all the great people here at Beasley. And I've been here 22 years, and I love this place, and I will never leave until they carry me out feet first. Enjoy the week. And have a great end of the month. It's the 31st today. Happy birthday, Grandpa in heaven. All right, he would have been 190 today. (laughs) I'll I'll talk to you next week.
The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its hosts, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station, its staff, management, or sponsors. Online, fmmoneytalkradio.com. On air.